This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. For today's valued viewer request, we've got from Dude Bro. Uh, you could make a little review on the MQ9 Predator by the Kester Brothers. Right, so let's get onto it. I've been into my mods lately. RC's been on holiday, and so I've been into my mods. And Kester Brothers, Patrick, uh, comes up everywhere we go. So we're going to first come to this uh, website. This is awesome, by the way. Go and do it. Single player only, not multiplayer, but still fun. Come to this website here. I will link this website in the description. It's the MQ9 Reaper mod. Uh, it's authored by Spino7, but the original mod is by the Kester Brothers as usual. When you're here, click download, and it will download the file. You can see the file is at the bottom of the screen, and it's already been downloaded. And I'm going to go show in folder. There is the mod. I've also done the big 31 for the lols, uh, so MQ9. In here, you've got a readme. Just telling you some rough stuff here, but you can work it all out yourself. What you're going to do is click then on this folder in here, right-click, copy. Then you're going to go to your save games folder. Now, my save game folder is in Steam save games. That's probably not where yours will be because I've moved mine specially because I'm out of com uh, computer space. Yours will probably be C drive, users, your username, and it will probably be in there. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Do not put it in your installation directory. That will mess everything up. Make sure it's in your save games. Okay, so save uh, save games, DCS or DCS open beta. Uh, mine is actually open beta. It just the folder's name is wrong for some reason. Uh, we're then going to go to ba, 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 mods. If you don't have a folder called mods, make one and call it exactly what I've called it there. Same thing, aircraft. If you don't have aircraft, call it make it and call it exactly what I've got there. And then you're going to go right click. You're going to go paste, and it will paste this folder in there. That's it. You don't need to do anything else. You don't need to do any clever stuff. It's all done for you. Next, we're going to go and start up DCS stamp. From the main menu, we will go to Options, then Controls. Then here, we'll choose our Reaper. Get rid of that. Reaper, 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 if we can find it. There it is, MQ9 Predator B. Uh, we will go from use these groups here. We'll first go and access commands and we will set up our usual HOTAS joystick commands of, uh, you know, pitch roll, rudder, thrust, and zoom view. So I'm sure you will know how to do that by now. Next, we will go to uh, modes and just check. We've got one for navigation mode, five for HMD, which I'm not actually sure works at the moment, uh, for air-to-air, -air. Longitudinal, longitudinal missile aiming mode for air-to-air, -air. seven for air-to-ground, and eight you wouldn't use. Next, We've got, and that's already bound, by the way. You don't need to go and do that yourself. Sensors. You can zoom in and zoom out the Shkaval here. And I've got the, what is the plus and minus key on my keyboard. E-Lint, I don't think works, so ignore that. Electro-optical you will need, so that's the O key of standard, and you can change that. Laser Ranger, I'm still not sure whether you need that or not, but put it in anyway, and I've got it as the U key. Uh, night Vision, even I can't actually get it to work at the moment, but it might only work at night, and I haven't tested that, so grab Night Vision as well. Target TDC, target designator, up, down, left, right, and up. You'll need all of those, and I've just put them as the cursor keys. Target lock, you'll need that. Target unlock could be useful, so you might as well grab that as well. That sensors. Next, we're going to go to systems, and I'm not even sure if this thing has air brakes, but I've bound air brakes. I'm not sure if this thing has flaps, but I bound flaps up and down anyway. Everything else in here seems to be already bound and uh, ready for you to use as per standard Flaming Cliffs 3 plane, which of course is what this is based on, probably the uh, SU-25 I imagine. And finally, we're going to go down here to weapons. We're going to need our weapon fire button bound, we're going to need our weapon change button bound, and we're going to need our launch permission override button bound. Okay, let's go and give it a whirl. Let's go and um, do a mission, so mission editor. I'm going to open one I had earlier. You could go to new and choose any map that you want to do. And if you want to add the guy in, you're going to go add airplane group. Pick an airport, put it on an airport. Under type here, you would choose bah, 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 MQ9 Predator. Make it a client there. And you would then choose it to take off from parking hot or from the air. It's up to you. Okay. Here's one I did earlier. Let's grab him. And we can see a lovely loadout we've got. So, on the pylon 1, we can have aim on x which is cool. Or uh, Hellfire, or 2 times Hellfire, which is cool. Pylon 2, you can have aim on x uh, Hellfire, or GBU-12. Uh, pylon 3, the same. Pylon 4, 
Aim 9X or Hellfire or 2 Hellfire. And Pylon 5 is going to be your Mercury pod. So I think that's a night vision compatible targeting pod. Um, I don't think the real Reaper uses it. I think it's just to get this mod to work, if that makes sense. You're just going to need, need to have that. So we'll have that as well. Okay, that's him all armed up and ready to go for this case. So set your faces to stun as we run the mission. Right, so this is where things get a little surreal. Click on our guy. Now we're going to drive it. And this is the cool thing. From here, in fact, we're going to turn the lights on. Look at our memory aids here. Various buttons we need to press. Lima button. We're going to turn our lights on. Hello, Jeffrey. Hello, Dave. Hello, Benny Hill. Hello, Gumput and all the other dudes there. Cool, right? And some stuff back there. I am an official 18-year-old drone pilot ready to go and kill some bad guys. There's a hat there. Look at the polygon count on the hat. And so this guy, this Kester guys are so good. I can't believe they're not making professional mods. In fact, why aren't they making professional mods? That's all I've got to say to you. Uh, if we get bored of this little cool view, we can also do the other views here. And what a cool little beast that is, right? Great model. So it's got its real life, well, I think what it is, real life teapot there. I'm assuming, I don't know anything about drones. And it's got its kind of fake thing just to get this to work in DTS there. It's got its GBU 12, it's got its cool Hellfires. Oh, it's got, even got its Aim9X. Wow, look how big the Aim9X is. One thing I should do is put this against an F 15 and just see how big it is or small it is, because I don't know how big a Predator drone is. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Mr. Wagner will be extremely upset that that high alpha uh, F-18 is about to get shot down to our Predator. But you know what? Suck it up. Okay, guys. So, off we toot. I'm not going to lie. It is really weird flying like this. But what I'm doing is I'm simulating a simulator. So, I'm flying the simulation of a simulator. Never done that before. Uh, there's no... Oh, I was going to say there's no speed. But I can actually see at the top left. So, scratch that. Go boys. Good time to see if this thing has, thing has flaps or whatever. Yeah. Oh. Gear up. Oops, wrong way. It does not have flaps. I don't think. It does not. Oh, maybe it does. Stand by. No, I can't get them to work, so I don't think. Don't quote me on that, but I. I don't think I can get them to work. Okay, so we're flying around in our Predator, which is pretty cool. Look, watch this. I'm a Predator drone. I'm a friggin' Predator. I can fly it like this, like an RC plane. How cool is that? Okay, guys, now I know what you want. You want me to go and shoot some things. So I'm going to press the 7 button to get uh, air to ground up. And then I can, uh, one thing I've got to show you was to change weapons. So do set that in controls. I've got Hellfire selected or GBU 12s. Hellfire, GBU 12. Hellfire. Uh, I'm going to kick my electro optical system, in system into play with the O key. Ping. And it's got this weird VR kind of superimposure there. Is that real? Is that what a real pilot, um, drone pilot sees? Not the foggiest. You guys let, let me know. Now I want to be a drone pilot. I'm going to find some baddies. I wonder if I can use the Hellfire against the Hornet. Wouldn't that be funny? Again, that would upset Mr. Wagner, so I better not. Right, TDC, find a bad guy. Lock onto him. Ping. Done. Uh, launch permission. Override. Press. And Fox Rifle. Launch. Okay. Fox Rifle. Boom. Look at that, guys. That's super cool, right? Let's go around. Full power. Let's go and put some uh, GBU-12s on, yo. See how maneuverable this little sucker is. Wow. Wee. Now, I can't get the GBU 12s to work, so you guys will have to tell me how what I'm doing wrong here. If you please, if you pretty please. So I've got everything on. I've got to go in for a target. GBU 12 select. No, GBU 12 selected. Find the baddie waddies. Stand by. Baddie waddies. Baddie waddies. Done. I'm going to put my laser pointer on, even though I don't know if I know if I need it. And I'm going to run in and drop a GBU 12 on yo. Stand by. And make sure I've got roughly the right parameters for the drop. Droppings! Love some good droppings. Going to point my nose down just in case I need to keep that laser. Is it going to guide? Is it going to guide? Oh my god! This is cool. Oh my god, it's going to work. Oh no, it's not. How embarrassing for me. Don't know how to get GBU's 12 to work. You guys tell me. Let's go and try. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, whatever that is. Aim 9X. Never tried this before, but it should be fun. 
Oh, Mr. Wagner! Oh, Mr. Wagner! Very odd now. Okay, in a dogfight with Mr. Wagner. I wonder if Helmet Mountain Display uh, works. Oh, that's unexpected. I didn't do what I thought it does, but okay. Uh, Mr. Wagner down there, just writing his code as he does. Watch this! Oh, it doesn't work. Kester! Let's try firing anyway. And launch mission override. Fox X. God damn it, it doesn't work. It looks like 9 X's don't work, or I'm doing it wrong. It's gonna be either. Oh, hello! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm not exiting your face! <laughs> Get some, baby! Mr. Wagner is down, and he's gonna be upset at his lack of code production. Boom, don't hear that. Thank you. Right! So, that valued humans is flying a simulation from a simulation. I think it's great. I think these guys need to start doing official mods, if they're not already. Uh, I don't know what else to say about that. Go and enjoy your repart. Ta-ra for now.